So we'll start with a 2019 Zotovich Vineyard Chardonnay. So I have been making this Chardonnay since 2010. Uh, Zotovich Vineyard, which lies on the western side of the Santa Rita Hills, all really sandy soils. Uh, the style of Chardonnay that I've always sort of geared this towards has been to really show off the expression of the fruit, make it taste like Chardonnay. As a winemaker, I want them to show sort of the purity of the, the time, which is the vintage, and the place, the vineyard. So this, this Chardonnay, I always do in stainless steel. So I ferment out in stainless steel. I, I have a favorite champagne yeast that I like to use. And I ferment it in 60 gallon drums, essentially. And I do that because for your aromatics to stay really fresh and pretty, mm -hmm. uh, you have to keep the fermentation at, at sort of at cool temperature zones. And so the higher volume, the harder it is to control some of those temperature zones. So I, I ferment in small lots. And, and when, when this wine is fermenting at harvest time, it smells like the perfect pineapple you have like on a beach in Hawaii. Like it smells like juicy pineapple it's so beautiful and um and so from there if you know i ferment it and i age it on its leaves which are kind of the solid components the yeast as they kind of die off i, I age the wine on that and that's sort of so the wine isn't too sort of austere or, or angular and acidic it kind of helps kind of fatten out the the palate on it and the idea is to make a Chardonnay that tastes like Chardonnay. Uh, and so it's a lot of fun to make. It's a lot of fun to drink. I love that textural on it element too. Mm -hmm. to it. Um, and that comes from that surly aging too. That yeah. A little bit of that tingle that you get underneath your tongue. Yeah. Aging it on the leaves kind of helps that mid palate kind of fatten. So although it's carrying the acid and it's going to be really bright on the finish, which is why it's so good with food. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has that, that, that wish on the wine that kind of carries through. So it almost does taste like it was aged in, in barrels. So yeah. I, I really like this this wine. This wine actually has a fun story behind it too, because when we started Transcendence, Joey's like, we really need to have a Chardonnay. And I'm like, no, I, I, I don't want a Chardonnay. I don't like Chardonnay. I'm not gonna sell Chardonnay. <laughs> he said, let me make you a Chardonnay that you'll like. And so that's kind of how this Chardonnay developed in our winery. Well, and our most expensive wines that we were buying was Chardonnay. It was Chablis. Sure. And oh, really? Yeah. So you they, love those? But you I do, yeah. They super acidic, super bright. Um, and, you know, they, although they're really complex, they finish with your palate as fresh, you know. And that's what, what, I, what I wanted to steer away from, like, so many Chardonnays where they, you know, they're fat and they, they're, they're good but they lay heavy. They almost leave the impression like you're drinking red wine. Mm -hmm. And maize, without tweaking the, the acids, are, are very complex, but they're also very fresh. They're snappy, you know, and I mm -hmm. like that about this. I like thing. that snappiness. 